What is up, guys? We are live. Zach in here. And in today's video, we are going to show you, like, you're going to watch me pull free niche lists for motivated sellers. That's right, guys. In today's video, I'm just, you're going to watch me pull these lists. So uh, this is going to be a pretty exciting one, guys. I I'm always pumped up for this one. And I, I truly believe we can change some lives today. So before we get into it, remember, you guys, let me get the little banner here for you. Smash that like button and subscribe. It means a lot for me. It helps out the YouTube algorithm so I can go out here and help you guys become better real estate investors, better wholesalers, and overall better people. We got the Benjamins. Yes, uh, got the Benjamins behind me because it's all about making that money. And I'm going to show you exactly how to make that money today. We're going to be pulling free motivated seller leads all day today. Uh, that is my goal today is we're just going to be, uh, I'll go for as, as long as you want me to go. Uh, we are just going to be pulling leads. It's a pretty exciting one, a pretty exciting topic I'll have to do. So remember guys, smash that like button and subscribe and let's get into it. So uh, let's break down the type of motivated seller leads I want to be pulling for you guys. I, I think it's pretty important to list them and really going to be going after government lists today. And it's all about marketing, uh, but really th there's only a certain amount of motivated seller leads you can go after. Number one is going to be code violations. Number two is going to be probates water shutoffs and liens, tax liens, divorce lists. There's so many great ones, fire damage property lists. I'm going to show you, actually, I'm going to show you, but I'm going to actually do it with you guys today. That, that's the pretty exciting part. So uh, let's blow up the comments, guys. I'm going to see where everyone's coming in from and let's break it down. So let me write these out uh, just to show you which ones I'm going to do. But really for me to do it, I, I need a favor from you guys. I need you guys to tell me in the comments what market I should be pulling these free niche lists from. Uh, help me out a lot to know. I'm going to give you some really cool examples I got. Uh, I think it's going to really help change some people out here, but uh, get it going. So I want to help the people out here for real estate wholesaling and uh, do it all. So let me uh, list some of the ones that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to see if anyone has any uh, need help with anything, but let's get it going. So. These are all going to be like free lists, so it's going to be pretty good. So, and we're going to just do courthouse leads last. Oops. All right, let's get it going, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. So, uh, looks like we got we got some markets. We we want to start getting some stuff done, and that that's pretty exciting. So, uh, let's get it going, guys. So, uh, we got. LA, Atlanta, Tulare County, um, Tulsa, Springfield, Akron, North Carolina, Texas, Jersey, Jacksonville, Fresno, Stockton, Louisville. Guys, we got so many people coming in live. I, I, I'm so humbled by the amount of people that watch this uh, stuff live. It, it's truly an inspiration for me, and it, it really keeps me pushing the pace forward to help you guys out so much. Shout out to Tony. Justin coming in early. Oh my gosh, these guys are right, bro. You the man, Tony. You're the man. Thank you so much. First uh, Facebook comments from Victoria. Catherine's got the money. We see the money behind us. We know what time it is. We're gonna be pulling free niche lists. So let's break it down. Let's uh, start pulling some deals and let's get some going. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some here and then I'm gonna do some like really easy examples to show you some easy ones and then I'll show you some more more difficult ones of where I sort of look at. So. Uh, let me pull one up right here. So let me share my screen, guys. So this isn't, I'm not no fancy schmancy uh, person here, but uh, number one is, ooh, let's hide that really quick. Let's, let me show you really quick. All right, let's, let's start pulling some stuff. So uh, in order, we're going to go number one is code violations. So code violations, some cities, states, municipalities, whatever you want to call them, you can actually pull them very easily and they actually have databases for you to do them. Some other places are a lot harder and you're going to might have to do a Freedom of Information Act. You might have to go physically meet them in person. Uh, that's where I found a lot of, of these lists is actually have to go meet these people in person. Kind of sucks to do, but you have to. So uh, that's where I found, but Really, ultimately, I am just want to be pulling lists for you guys live here and, and see what I can do to help you guys out. So uh, let's go over here and see. So uh, let me pull it up here. So really quickly, the, the first one I'm going to tell you is let's, let me show you an easy code violation, okay? And then I'm going to take someone randomly off here on the comments and we're going to do them. And uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So 
Let me go here and show you. So the easy one I can show you is because I've done this one before is Lake County, Florida. You guys know Lake County, Florida. That's kind of west of Orlando. It's kind of a weird part of town uh, in Florida. Uh, not much going on, but it's a very, very extremely easy list to pull for code violations. So let's make this one a 200% bigger. This is where Lake County is, like that kind of region over here. And it, this is Lake County, uh, lakecountyfl.gov. Uh, that, that's where I'm at here. And how am I going to pull code violations off of this one? This is a Florida is really easy for code violations for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but l l let me show you really quick. Let me get rid of this. This might do it. But as you can see here, go here to the code enforcement case search. This is where, this is how I do it. A lot of people don't know you can actually do it this way, but it's one of the best ways to do it. And it's not even code enforcement going out here and listing or giving list. Hey guys, this is where all of our code violations are. No, they, they don't do it that hard. Like they're not that easy with it, but there's a couple of tricks in these websites you can do. Hopefully Lake County code enforcement's not watching me because I might get in trouble with them here, but th this is how you do it. So uh, the best one is just asking. So uh, let's say just really quickly, best case scenario, we're going to go here to Lake County and we're just going to find their phone number right here. Uh, Tavares, Florida. We're going to click contact us and they give us a little thing right here. Let's see. Can you guys see it? Yeah. I would call them by the phone number. That, that'd be the easiest one to do uh, if, if this method's not working. So let's go back here to just home. We're gonna go back here to code enforcement case search. Just seeing this one more time. I'm at lakecountyfl.gov. I don't live in Lake County. Uh, code enforcement case search. We're gonna search that. And now we're right here. So this is where the bread and butter is. This is where we make the money. So uh, let's go here. Now you, you might be like, oh no, I just have to put the address. Here's a really cool one. We're gonna do all open code violations uh, for let's let's do July 1st till today. Okay. So what's today? The 25th. Yep. I'm going to click search and booyah. Look at all of these open code violations. Look at the money. Do you guys see money right here? Cause I just see, oh my gosh, they're just, these are, these are, where's open date. Let's go. I don't, maybe I can look. Oh shoot. Holy mother. There's an export to CSV button. Are you kidding me? I didn't even see this. Are you kidding me? Export to CSV easy. That was, oh my gosh. So let's go to Google sheets right here. I like, I use Excel, but Google sheets is free. So I want to help as many people who don't have this, all the tools out here. So let's go here and let's share my screen really quick. Hold on. Let me open this CSV really quick. Uh, recent, let's go open this one. Oops. Did that work? Upload be right here. Let me upload this list really quick. So what's doing is uploading that CSV and we're going to pull it right here. All right, we're going to share it on here. Share my screen. And right here. So now we have this and what I'm going to do is go by open date and we're going to sort that. So bear with me a second. I'm not the Excel expert here. So I think it's not by view. All right, it does that weird thing where it puts this on the bottom, but we, we can change that uh, at the end there. So let me show you. So I'm just gonna do here is just this quick little control X, B, and then we're just gonna boop. Alrighty, and then I'm not the, some expert, but so these are gonna be the open ones. So now we know here like, Guys, this is how simple this list is. So let me make this bigger for you guys. This is as simple as this like code enforcement. So this is a code uh, code case. Thomas Clive at 24731 Plomosa Drive. Like, come on. Come on. Like, guys, the, the look at the money. Look at how much money is on this list. I just pulled instantly. Uh, I love you guys uh, going out there saying, Zach, I'm in a really tough market. I can't pull code violations. We'll go to Lake County, pull these code violations, go to True People Search, find their phone number, and then call them. That's it. Kamikaze says, let's call them up. Bet. All right, so let's copy this address really quick.
Uh, I'm just trying to show you how easy this is. So right here, okay? So Plumosa, Leesburg, Florida. Boom. All right, we got a code validation right here. So what I'm going to do, really quick, we're going to copy this, okay? We're going to go to truepeoplesearch.com. I would pay on batch, but just really quickly, just to make it really easy and simple. Hold on. Where is it? Hold on, share my screen. Boom. Look for the owner here. And who's the guy's name on there? All right. Okay, May 2011. This is the current address right here. So what we're gonna do is give this person a quick call. I'm gonna call the first one right here. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. All right, we're going to call the next one. Ooh, that one didn't go. All right. We'll do one more. Thank you for calling Gettysburg Emporium. We must be busy with customers, but please read them. All right, wrong one. But uh, I'm just trying to find this person. What I'm going to do right here is this is a really simple one. Uh, hold on. So none of the calls went through, which is good. It means more people can't find it. I'm going to take these three addr uh, email addresses and email the person. That is the easiest way, hands down, to go find someone. Uh, simple guys. So uh, what I do is just email these people and that's it. And uh, let's go through the list one more time here. And let me just go through. Uh, so obviously just get through all these. I mean, look at all these addresses. Come on. I mean, March, uh, March court. I, literally, let, let's do this one. For example, um, 151, there's a complaint here. I can click case number. Let's see if you guys can see it. Can you guys see this? I can actually pull up the case number here and actually look at it. So, like, look how easy this is. Standard housing tenant said there's mold in the house, possibly caused by water. There's water damage in this property. Come on. There's water damage. Does it get easier than this? Look, let me show you. They literally complained about water damage. How e? Uh, come on, 
guys, the, the money's the, you see the money behind me. This isn't where the real money's at. This is a that's a screen, okay? And hundred dollar bills aren't supposed to be black, but right here, there's mold. Are you kidding me? Come on. Jesus Christ, people. Like, come on. Look at all the money here. Look at this. Look, go back here. Uh, let's search this one. Where's the one I was, I was looking at? I was looking at this one. This one said nuisance abatement in plain view. Okay. Interesting one. Um, let's see. Let's just randomly choose this one. Accumulation of solid waste collars said there are tree trimmings by the road. Probably not the best one, but not really the worst one I, I've seen. Let's look at an old one. Temple Road. Caller said trailers loaded debris are being brought onto the property to be burned. The activity is being done as part of a business. Definitely give that person a call. I mean, look at all the data we got here. Um, 31620 Carroll Avenue. Solid waste. There's concrete bags on the property. Look at all the money, guys. I mean, this is insane. Water damage. And go here to number four. See what pops up. Eve Drive. There is just waste around the property. I mean, guys, I, this is just too easy. Just sniper money right here. Uh, 25007 Holiday Road. Solid waste. Been there for several weeks. There's just so many types, guys. So it's so simple, these type of deals, guys. I, I cannot explain it enough. I mean, come on. There's just so much money. Come on, there's mold, water damage on these properties. Like, go out there and have a conversation. This is, a, this is probably a terrible rental property. How bad of a tenant do you have to have that they're calling code enforcement on you? Come on. Guys, this is just easy money on this one. So I cannot express how much you guys need to be pulling code violations. It, this is a very easy one to do. Uh, like if you can get it going like that, where you get all this data, come on. Uh, guys, do me a favor. Comment where, where should I pull code violations next? Let me know. And uh, let me get some comments and some questions going here. Let's see here. Let's see some questions. Uh, would love to find out how to pull water shot off lists. We're going to go into that. Don't even worry about it. Hello, everyone. What's up, Solo Dolo? Aloha, Zach. Everyone, I've been waiting. Uh, I've been waiting for this since you announced it yesterday. That's awesome. Aaron says hello. Hope is all all is well. What list should you suggest to you for Tampa, or if anyone want to work together? Let's go. Uh, I would say driving for dollars still a really good list over there. Hands down, code violations, probates, water uh, shutoffs, fire damage properties. they are all really good ones out there. Uh, CV lists, code violation lists are free in my county. That's awesome. My, uh, Lavender Gal says, uh, my county actually mails me newest list each a new month. I just had to ask them. Uh, she said, I'm the only person they send it to. Wow. Don't tell me what uh, county you're in because everyone's going to try to take that. So, but uh, guys, it's amazing. Oh, wait. My county emails me. Hey, if you can get that email too, I had probates in one county uh, before other wholesalers went into it. I was the only guy doing that. We were just cleaning up there. So, guys, I, I cannot tell you, I, I'm enjoying doing this. I'm enjoying pulling these lists for you because I think I'm changing lives and, and really showing you not how easy it is to do, but it, it's simple guys. It's, it's not that difficult to do. And these are free lists. Hello. And says, Oh, I, I just, the lists are so expensive. They're so hard to do. Go out there and do it. Like it's not that hard. You can't do it to yours. Just do another one. Fire emoji from Terrell. Thank you so much. Gems. We're getting gems out here today. You're twisting my arm. Oh my gosh. Milwaukee. Uh, Tony got the gems and the money. 
smash that like for looking for those non-excel peeps of course i have to you know i i, I not everyone uses uh, excel so uh, it's a great i prefer excel but honestly you don't really need it it's it's google's got it down pat like it's it's like coaching why do you pay for it when you got google sheets for free and google uh what docs they don't use word right r.i.p to the gurus let's do a quick prayer for him <laughs> but uh let's call him up i called him up call tyrone uh can you do charlotte of course how do you like a stream multiple times that's just the uh, software we use for it um i guess we use one account yeah What's up? Watching it from Boston, Massachusetts. What is up, Steve? Thank you. You've been showing the support on the channel lately. Thank you so much. Tr truly appreciate that. Uh, next year, we got Nobody Does This. Always great content. Thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate that, uh, Jermaine. Uh, I, I try. I, I try to do the stuff that no one else does or they're too scared to do or they don't want to talk about because I, I truly believe that I, I, I'm literally giving you all the free content I possibly can. It's not hidden on this funnel. I'm trying to sell you on this ten thousand uh, dollar mastermind course type thing. Not, I, I I promise you, everything I can have in this brain for wholesaling, I I want to give to the people. I, I truly believe it is a disservice. It is a disservice, a disservice uh, for me not to give this information for free. So, uh, where do you live at? I'm in uh, Stewart, Florida which is basically uh, my market where I, I do all my wholesaling basically in Port St. Lucie, Florida. That's uh, Port St. Lucie is like four minute drive for me. So it's there. Ooh. I don't know what happened there, but all right. But it, it's a, like a four minute drive for me. So it, whatever. Um, Tony hobby channel. got the fire emoji. I live in Tavares and it says Leesburg, Florida. Sweet. Awesome. So excited about mold. I I'm like it, it says it on the thing. It's got fire damage. Come on. Like there's just so much money in these deals that no one's going after. That person's probably listed with a realtor. Like it's not like, Oh, another wholesale is going to get guys. No one's going after these deals and you can pull all like, imagine you get a list of all the mold water damage properties. They don't have that list, but you can go out here and pull it like that. It's amazing. It's truly amazing, guys. You always bring the heat. Kenny, thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. Uh, he is our expert uh, resident in Texas. Uh, champ over there. Thanks, Kenny, so much. Easy. Colorado? Yeah, give me a county. You live in Lake County? Oh, no, I do not live in Lake County. I live in uh, Martin County. But uh, basically, I do all my work in St. Lucie County. Again, four minutes away. I'm like, it's the border thing there. But yeah, I just want to live on uh, near the water. I'm a beach guy. Broward County, Nashville, New Haven. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna we're getting a lot of ones. All right, let's. Um, what was the first one I said from there? Um, Broward County. Uh, Broward County is not an easy one, but we'll we'll do Broward. So let's get out of Florida. Let's. Fine. We'll, we'll do Broward, whatever. Um, I'm just going to search Broward. I haven't pulled a Broward code violation list in probably a year. So go here and look. They probably won't let us, but let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna for Broward County. I'll, I'll show you. Some you can do, some you can't. So I mean, it's past five o'clock right now, so I can't call. Ooh, who gave me the angry? Justin Brown gave me an angry emoji. Ooh, he's mad. He's mad at these gurus. Me too. Um. So yeah, that's not working right now. So what we're just going to do is go to contact us. 
We go call. There's code enforcement. Um, animal care archives. Go to C. Hmm. Where would we be at here? Uh, let's just search it. Broward. All right, code enforcement. So we can. There's just some abandoned property lists, code violations. All right, call us at 311. All right, so call 311 there um, from 8.30 to 5.30 a.m. to get them. And you call these phone numbers too for them. Oops. What in the world did I just click? Hmm. This, this might work, hold on. Yeah, I got to do it by address here. So um, we're going to call that and just ask for all the open ones. And that would probably be the best one for us. So hopefully that helped you out there. Nashville, let's do code violations for Nashville. So that would be what county? Davidson County. All right. Share my screen. I'm at Nashville.gov. And guys, I'm not the fastest when it comes to a different city that I'm not used to. So it's going to take me like a second just to kind of see where I'm at here. Property standards. Um, code enforcement. Got a brochure. Let's try to search code violations history search. Um, turn. This is where you can look up status, access, e request for services, and look up system. Um, yeah, that might not work, but let's try it. I mean, please refine. So, address owner to active. Uh, state. All right, so it's popping up here. So this is how we do it. Let me make this bigger. So I went to advanced here, just did from this date to this date, click search. So what else can we do? We can do by zip if you want to. I, I went from all expired, I just chose active. And then from there, from Nashville, we can just pull this all up here. So it actually gives us contractors. So these, this probably be mechanics liens. I probably, or contractors issues. So I probably won't be touching that. Um, Power Design Incorporated. Let's do it by status. So active. So this seems like it's a permit issue water capacity fee. Let's go by type actually. Beer board permit, electrical fire alarm permit. So we don't want to go by permits here. Let's keep looking. Electrical permit, code plumbing permit. Let's see if it gives me some information. Um, 
a lot of these are going to be like mechanics, so we just got to uh, sift through some of these. Let's go here. I'm going to click this one. I need a master permit so that the engineering may submit plans. It's not a good one. Okay. Oh, this is, oh shoot. I'm going by permit, my bad. Yeah, no, let's, let's do it. I did by permit, let's do by complaint. Oops. Yeah, so I was going by permit. Um, my bad guys, I'm not used to this one. So yeah, my bad. So I messed, uh, messed with you guys for a second there. So let's go back here. So in Nashville, we're known by complaint. That's a lot easier. So let's check out this one. Uh, high weeds. Oh my gosh. All right. This ain't this ain't Snoop Dogg high weeds. This is uh, high grass. This is the more this is the better one for wholesaling. Okay. This. Oh my. God. Come on, guys. Let's. If this isn't called, I'm going to be very upset. All right, let, let's 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 pop this up. Okay. All premise shall be maintained free of weeds, grass, and vegetation excess of 12 inches. Guys, that grass hasn't been cut in a very long time. Oh my gosh. I people who tell me that there's just not good list any for virtual wholesaling. I, I just it makes no sense to me. I I'm just pulling lists like this. It's just, it's just, oh, Zach, there's no good list anywhere. Ah, oh, the, 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 there's no, I just, wholesaling sucks. They're, they're all saturated. Guys, no, I guarantee you no one is contacting this person right now. I guarantee you no one is contacting this. Guarantee it. Okay, guys? Nobody is contacting this person. Come on, guys. Guys, come on. Got the address right here. Expiration 2099. Uh, Nashville does not play. <laughs> they do not play with their expirations on their code violations. But guys, call this list. Like, screw it. You know what? If I get this deal, I'm just going to, whatever money I get on this deal, I'm just going to just vent mo everyone in the chat. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, let's go call this list. Let's call, call, let's call this one. I, I, I have an obligation for the wholesaling community. I got to go call this list right now. So, Let's go find it, guys. Let me show you exactly what I'm going to do. Like, I, I I am not doing anything special right here. Let's go to true people search. Let me copy this. Oops. Copy. Come on. Uh, Nashville. So we're going to go to truepeoplesearch.com. As we can see here on the property, this is a... So let's look at the property really quick. So this has high weeds and grass. Look how nice this property looks. And it's just in disarray right now. Like, come on, guys. Boom. This is awesome. So let's go here, True People Search, and let's put it in. Reverse address, 2172 Rock City Street. All right. Am I sharing it? No, shoot. All right, what was this dude's name? I think it has the name on it, but we, we can call it up. But let's keep it going, guys. LOL, I really appreciate it. I was totally lost when I was looking around and our courts aren't helpful. LOL. I'll show you some more on here. But uh, before I call, let's get some more questions we got about this of just what I just did. Let me see if anyone had questions before I go call this one and get a wholesale deal and then pay everyone, Venmo everyone. So we got 100 people watching live. I make uh, 10K. I guess what? Everyone gets... Let's say I make 15K. Okay. 15K on it. We got 100 people watching live. I give everyone 150 bucks watching. All right. That's my promise. If I, if this is actually a decent deal. I'll go do it. Okay. 
I make that promise to you guys. All right. So where can I pull a code violation list? I live in, you go to Ch Hamilton County Code Enforcement and then look it up just like I did there. This is good info. I'm a new viewer and I'm here for life. Justin, thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it. That's awesome. Hey, what's up? Indianapolis code violation list, please. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just jumped on which website you're referring to. So uh, Mario, what I do is this one for, for Nashville, I went to nashville.gov. I, I searched Nashville code, viola, code enforcement list, uh, Nashville code violation, and it popped me up to this. Guys, watch the replay of what I'm doing. There's there's nothing like super special I'm doing. I'm not I'm not pulling some like crazy list or something. Like I'm just I'm going out here live and doing it. So uh, let's see here. Some awesome markets everyone's at. Discovery Channel has definitely gave me more motivation. Try this out. I'll be the one to ask. LOL. Could you try Alabama? Lace by Lex. Give me a county. I'll go do it. Can you show other examples? I I'm, of course. Uh, let's see here. we got some more markets. It's possible water shut off. Um, I, I'll do water shut offs next. Uh, comment below what you got. By the way, you should spike your hair one day. That would be sick. <laughs> Daniel's got the spiked hair. All right. <laughs> Maybe do it. That'd be cool. All right. Dionde? Dionde? I'm definitely saying her name wrong. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, we're talking about pulling code violations and free niche lists. You guys are watching me do it live. You're the man, Zach, LOL. This ain't Snoop Dogg. I'm telling you, it ain't Snoop Dogg. There's a different type of weeds we're talking about. This is the this is the wholesaling uh, high grass. LOL, I really appreciate it. I was totally lost when looking up at courts. I appreciate it. All right, I'll Venmo everyone. We get this deal done. So like Oprah, you get a thousand, you get a thousand. Let's go, let's go call. Let's uh let's get it going. Uh remember me. <laughs> Well, no one else wants to call. Apparently, no one else else in Nashville wants to go call, call these lists. So I'll go call the list for you guys. Lance says that's the first time I ever heard some that willing to share a deal. I've listened to you and your dad a lot. You both are awesome. I mean, what are the chances is this a deal? I don't know, but I mean, why not just try to call him, right? Why not? If it gives you guys excited uh, for the call, then awesome. And it just shows you exactly what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special here. So let's uh go call it um the so this person lives in the address so let's go call them looks like i don't think a phone number got popped up on this one so we're gonna go back here jeremy ford used to live there no yeah this might be a harder one to do so no So Anna Catherine Trubla, that's who we got to talk to. We don't have a phone number here. So let me go try to call Catherine Trueblood. Oh, shoot. We're doing verification. This is a lie. This is not good. Um, truck, truck, truck. Whew, okay. That's a train. Truck, truck, truck. These get hard. Okay. This is a bus or a truck. I'm going to call it a bus. I swear, they, they make those things so snicking hard. Okay. Um, no, Catherine True Road won't pop up too. Let's try Anna Banks. She ain't going to pop up. Hmm. So Catherine Trueblood, we're going to go search her name online. Catherine Trueblood, Nashville. What number? No. Hmm. Let's go search the address and search phone number. So 
So what I'm probably going to do here is from there. Um, let's see here. What should I do? So probably what I would do here is probably knock on that door. That, that's, that's probably the best. Let me go look at the property appraiser and see who owns that property. Nashville, Davidson County property appraiser. Let's go search that property. I never use this property appraiser, so maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't. Let's go look. Uh, let's go look at the address here. Who's that? How far is this from downtown? Maybe that's why it's worth so much. All right, it's kind of by the downtown. All right. Okay, real property search. You guys can see this. Yeah, cool. Simple search. I agree. I definitely read all of that. All right, so the owner of this property is I'm looking for a... a Kathy Soy, 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 okay, okay. So that's the name. Let's let's look at the deed really quick, just so if I get the spelling correct on this one. I guys, I'm just showing you what I, what I do live if I'm actually doing this. So, no way. Um. So you guys can see here, let's make this bigger for you guys. I'm just showing you what the deed looks like. So I'm trying to figure out who owns this property. This is the stuff I have my VAs do for like really interesting properties. So that's the person's name. Kathy so Sui Soy. Okay. And Fet H Tint. So that's the person. Let's see. Yeah, so Kath, Kath, Kathy Soy. So that's the phone number we're going to be looking for. So we're going to look for, for there. So, so let's do, let's go to true people search and search that. So Kath, it's an interesting spelling. Um, let's see. You guys can see it. All right. Boom. We have a phone number, baby. Let's get this deal. All right. Okay, let's go to call this person. I see the wireless one first. Hi, this is Katie. I'm not able to take your call right now. Please leave me a message. Thank you. Hey, this is Zach. Please, Please record your message. When you have finished I thought it was a beep. Sorry, guys. Hang up or press one for more options. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Have a great one. That's her name. Kathy. Kathy. Scott just literally got her phone number. So she's going to call me back. If she calls me back here, I will answer it live for you guys and tell you if you got my deal or not there. That's how you do it. This business, that's just how simple this business should be, guys. Like, that was just code violations, too, guys. I Hopefully, that helped. Uh, wow, that's crazy. It's, I, I keep forgetting how easy and accessible, like, these code vi uh, code enforcement uh, information is. So, geez. Let, let's see what comments we got on that one. Uh, you're the man, Zach. Thank you. I think we're, wait, no. 
Are you running comps while talking to the seller? Yes and no. Uh, usually yes, though, if, if it's a good uh, question. <laughs> I'm about to call it. I don't even live in Nashville. <laughs> Let's go putting in my prop stream now. Let's go, Joshua. You rock. Thanks for sharing your knowledge and excitement. Of course, I, I'm telling you, this, like this is the stuff it takes to start getting wholesaling deals done and start changing your life. And if this is the video that sparks you going out there and pulling code violations and then you getting a deal, that's all I want. Like that, that's seriously what I want. I'm not, I'm not doing this live so I can just go pull deals in front of you guys. I mean, that'd, that'd be sick, but just showing you how easy it is to start pulling this information. It's really not that complicated, guys. Nothing special, man. You do so much for us. You actually don't realize it. Leon, thank you so much. I I try my best to help the people out, but uh, you uh, you appreciating it means the world to me. I, I just try my best here. So thank you so much. We're nearby Madison County, bigger city, way bigger population. What list do you want me to pull from there? One? Let me know. Uh, I need to get started on wholesaling instead of watching so much. Leon. Whatever city or county you live in right now, start pulling the code violations right now as we speak. Or if you don't know how to, just uh, comment it below. I'll go pull it for you. Then everyone's going to do it too. So that, uh, that's an issue. Knowing your face, you're phenomenal. <laughs> no worries, bro. Let's see here. With the prop stream, it says uh, Kathy sewed feet. Of course, I was right, LOL. I'm cold calling people right now too. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Uh, may you try any of the Hawaii islands? Sure. Uh, comment comment uh, below. No, double tap. <laughs> uh, thanks for the informa informational live shows. Of course, MJJ Smooth Criminal, always giving us the likes, always giving us the support. Thank you so much. Code violation, Hawaii, Maui, Honolulu. Guys, should I do, which county of these should I do next for code violations? Should I do Maui, Hawaii, or Honolulu? Let me know. Let the people decide. You gave me three choices here. Um, let's see here. All right. I'm not getting any comments on there. So I'm just gonna do Hawaii County. Why not? Hawaii County code, uh, violation list. That's how simple half this stuff is. Um, Alrighty. So All right, so I'm looking up right here. Wrong one. Nope. Click here. So general appeal form. So I'm probably gonna have to call just to figure it out. So I'll call this one, just figure it out. Um, so I, I, they're probably gonna be a, a, just think about Hawaii. They're probably gonna be a lot of issues with this one. So I'm just going to call and ask. So 808.
me the public works on me help you hello hi is this the uh, code enforcement office pardon me hi is this the code enforcement office um this is public works do you need building department uh code enforcement for building uh, no, just for regular code enforcements uh, for just single family properties. So most likely building, yes. One moment, please. No worries. Uh, I'm pretending like I don't know anything about real estate. It usually helps the most. Aloha and thank you for calling the County of Hawaii Department of Public Works Building Division in Hilo. If you know your party's four-digit extension, you may enter it at any time or call them directly by dialing 961 followed by their extension. To reach our corner office, please call 323-4720. You may press star to repeat this message. Wait, which one? Aloha and thank you for calling the County of Hawaii Department of Public Works Building Division in Hilo. If you know your party's four-digit extension, you may enter it at any time or call them directly by dialing 961 followed by their extension. To reach our corner office, please call 323-4720. You may press star to repeat this message. Wait while I transfer your call. Try to get the code enforcement list for Hawaii County. Department of Public Works, how may I help you? Hi, is this uh, the code enforcement department? I think I just talked to you. Yeah, you would need to speak with the building division. That's where I transferred. No one picked up. No one picked up. Okay, so unfortunately, they're either on another call or helping someone at the counter do you um i can give you their direct line if you yeah, want to give them a few minutes yeah. and try calling back of course what's the direct okay. line so direct line is um 808-961-8331 perfect thank you so much have a great okay. one okay you're welcome all right let's call that one Aloha and thank you for calling the County of Hawaii Department of Public Works Building Division in Hilo. If you know your party's four-digit extension, you may enter it at any time or call them directly by dialing 961 followed by their extension. To reach our corner office, please call 323-4720. You may press star to repeat this message. All right, so uh, what I'm probably going to do is probably just pull up there or call that extension, but I'm not going to do this for four hours. So uh, we'll do the next one here. But some of the times you just got to keep calling until you get it. So to Chingy Rock, but in that situation, I would just keep calling or probably call that other phone number they got there. Chichingi Rock, thank you. For people in New York City, do we need a lawyer to look over a contract or should we use a contract without lawyer tweaking it? You, you need a lawyer to sign the deals for New York City. So if you're doing virtual, no. Is high equity vacant a good list? It's an amazing list, hands down. 
Code violation for Kansas City. All right. Hey, Zach, your prodigy son and your dad is a great role model. Enjoyed you both. I don't call myself a prodigy or a prodigy son, but I'm just going out here trying to wholesale houses. It's it's what I do. I'm a human. I'm not I'm a celebrity. I, I just go behind a camera and uh, try to help people out wholesaling real estate. That, that's what it's all about, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, no prodigy. I'm not no special person. I just want to help the people out. I just, I'm just a wholesaler. Uh, my town makes you do a pull a FOIA Freedom of Information uh, Freedom of Information Act request. Yeah, so, sometimes you do. Some towns you have to do. Dallas, Pol Brevard County, Baxter County, County Maui Summit. Whoever blows up my uh, comments first, the most, I'll do it. Alex, what's the one I'm sipping on? I am drinking Public Screenwise orange flavored sparkling water with natural flavors sodium free calorie free sugar free so it is what is it carbonated water and that's it so it is literally just it's water i'm drinking water with orange in it okay these republics at like i don't know four bucks for a thing of 12 don't think i'm out here uh uh, that's it. I, I just like or I it's organic. It's nice. I don't know what makes it organic, but it's like LaCroix or something. Hair looking fire. It's been a minute. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Look up McCann again. All right, let's see who's blowing it up. Zach really in the trenches with us. I'm in the trenches. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I'd call it the trenches, but I mean, I got people just I, working for me on here. It's a little different, but for seven figure wholesalers, still consider that the trenches, but I'm still doing this business. It's a hundred percent. I'm just out here trying to help you guys out. I'm not, I'm not no special pedestal like saying, oh, I'm better than you. I, no, I just a regular person trying to wholesale. Uh, Who's blowing it up the most? Um, Pedro did St. Louis like 50 million times. So we'll, we'll do uh, what Pedro says because Pedro did like crazy. Better be the prodigy son than the prodigal. <laughs> I mean, me and Rick are different real estate investors. Uh, we make it work together. So uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's a yin and a yang. So I think I'm on more videos than him though, but. Uh, do Summit County. I've been having problems. St. Louis, Missouri. So we'll do two more and then we'll go on the next part. St. Louis, Missouri County. St. Louis County. That's an easy one. So the St. Lucie, uh, St. Louis, Missouri County Code Enforcement List right here let's see what i see pdf links code of or, or. Yeah, these are permits. Um, open data. Let's see what's on here. Um, maybe it's this one. So give me this link right here. Downloadable data. Transportation, property information. I don't think which one it'd be. Um, property info. Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. So what I'm just going to do here is just do. Um, right here. Um, let's see. And what do you got to do? Just call this phone number right here and ask for all the open code violations. That's probably what I do for that one. So now we're done with code violations. We go to the next one here, which is pretty cool. All right, next one here is we did code violations. So next one we're going to do probates. Probates. So let's start pulling some probates, guys. Uh, pretty exciting one here. So let's pull some probates, see what I can do to help the guys out. Uh, so let's do this one really easy for now. Stretch. All right. First question. First one was O-Town, Orlando. Let's see what else. Where do you guys want me to pull probates? Would love to know. While I'm doing that, I'm going to show you how to pro probates in another county in Florida. Cause I just know those ones like the back of my hand really easily. So let's do this one really quick. Let's do Polk County. Look at the court. I haven't done this one in a minute, so it's going to take me a second. So uh, let me share my screen here. So Polk County clerk of the courts. Shoot. Uh, I got to remember this one again. It's going to take me a second to figure this one out, guys, but I'll find it. No, it'd be court records, right? Yeah, court records. So let me go back here. Court records, proceed to site. Public access, right? Mm, probate. Let's see if this is it. I did it right the last time. I'm trying to remember. Uh, select, but no additional. Level. Please enter. Hmm. Let me change this one. Go back here. Okay, I think this is it. I remember, I remember this one was weird. That's why I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so the reason why this one was weird again, I, I'm starting to remember, is because this one you can't go to, you don't go to courts on this one. This one you go to public records for the probates. So I'll just go here to, again, they don't show probates for Polk County. That's why I remember this one. But this is the tip to get into it. So uh, let's make this one bigger. All I got to do here is go do document type. Go down here to P for probate. All right. Yeah. Probate. Last 30 days. Search. No records found. I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong here? Um, maybe it's by party. Hmm. Um, let's see what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's getting no records for all the probates. So 
I'm going to do here is test out a regular one. So we're going to try this one. Okay, so stuff's now pulling up. So got probate documents that might be the one in there. Um, no, hmm. Okay, so it's probate documents that worked for it. So, uh, can you drop the link in the chat for the? Yeah. Um, so, Eric, I am a, I'm stupid. So, uh, I did the uh, PR PRO and it worked. So, yeah, it takes me a second. A little slower with the probate uh, polling here. Cause I'm just, I'm used to my counties just being there for me. So, uh, popped up right here, do it by date. And we can see here that we got South shore resort. So now here we got the legal description here. This is a probate. So it looks like Terry Atwell died here and this is their address. We can go out here and call the probate, pull the probate information. Easy as that. I remember how hard, um, how hard this one was. So, that's why it took me a second to figure it out, but now, <laughs> woo, figure it out. Woo. Didn't want to embarrass myself in front of everyone here, but that, like, that's all you really got to do to be pulling this information. So it's not that difficult, guys. Probates, you go out there with the county. Um, a lot of comments here. Can you do Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta? So we'll do Atlanta probates. All right, let's see what I got. I'm going to look Fulton County probates. All right. Mm, there's a probate information center. Cheat. All right. Share my screen. Guys, this business is like the type of business pulling these free niche lists. It's not difficult, guys. It's 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 not easy, but it's simple, guys. Remember, you can learn all this stuff from in freewholesaling.com. That's where it's all in. But let me just show you. I'm just doing it live just to show you. I I am not the special like YouTube guru coach guy that's better than you guys. Guys, I I'm the same exact person as you. Maybe I'm different. Maybe I run a seven figure operation. You might not. Maybe you run a better operation than me. I don't know, but uh, I'm just a 21 year old person right now, just trying to show you guys how to pull these free lists. And that's my goal here. So I'm looking at Fulton County here. There's Fulton County is pretty big. So probate information center, you can make appointments with the probate court. They could probably show you exactly how to do it <laughs> way faster than me. Let's see. There's a law library record restrictions. A criminal history from public view. Hmm. I'm going to go here to courts, probate court. I searched this. Hmm. Due to large number of applicants, or licenses. So these are probably the courts I'd start calling and looking at if I was in Atlanta. I would question, does law clear on demand have good probate leads. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the person doing that passed away. So I don't know. I cannot be the person to tell you. Um, yeah. Rest in peace to, uh, Deanna, but, uh, open. Mm, I would say you have to go there, but let me try to find it. 
What I'm probably going to do is uh, court record search, Fulton County. See what pops up. Fulton County, clerk of the magistrate of court. All right, we got here record and real estate services. Uh, don't really care about recording. Maybe it's court service. Hmm. Try a civil here. No. Judicial record search. We're going to do smart search. Enter a record number name. We do not have that. So advanced filtering. Um, you can try this. Probably won't work, but. You're going to need that. So enter a record. Mm, smart search. We're going to try general options. Party case, case search. Other by case type. We're going to go to probates here. Probation, no. Okay. Is the wrong type. So case status. Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't look like civil court. So hmm. Give me a second, guys. I'm just looking here. Maybe open. Yeah, we need that. So, probably not the right site here. E services. Try this one. The lean index. We can look up leans. It's pretty cool. Okay, they can make us do a login for this one. And we'll just try superior and that's not going to let me. So I'd probably have to call and ask. So that, that's probably what I'd do. It's after five. So that won't work there. Um, love the straight raw, no fluff. You, my friend are true mentor sensei. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Fred it means the world to me. Thank you. Guru. I ain't a guru. Tell me I ain't a guru. Perfect. Great stuff. Thank you. I don't know if I'm jumping the gun, but we've pulled the list and it just gives you the address. Then walk. You look at the address and then you got the phone number and call these people. Then what? Go to truepeoplesearch.com, call these people, ask if they want to sell the property. Hey, what's going on, Zach? In? Not, not much going on. Just uh, wholesaling real estate and helping people out learn how to do it. That's literally the name of the game. Uh, and that's it. Not even a guru does live stuff like this. Cause they they're, they're too good. They're, they're they're too high level for this stuff. They're they're uh, they're thinking about Lamborghinis and Rolexes to be uh, doing this. Don't they're not concerned with the with the little stuff like this. This is this is too high level for them. You know they're 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 thinking of big plans. You know that the, how 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 can I sell how can I sell this course to you guys? How can I get you guys to want to buy it? You know they're, they're too busy with that kind of stuff.
have you brought home from tax liens? We'll get those going. I just got the phone with a motivated homeowner with an agreed purchase price. I'm getting mixed from things about people about it being a bad deal. Please help. Let me, give me some info about it. Alrighty. People are networking the comments. That is awesome. Hey, buddy, can't stay, but we'll watch the replay helping out with the algorithm. Elmo, you are the GOAT. Thank you so much. Where do you get water shutoff list? Let me show you. Find comp, skip, call and get paid. This is the basics. Love wholesaling. It's This business is so basic, guys. It's going to be super complicated or super basic, depending on what type of business you, you really want to run. I, I like to keep it simple. Like completely bought, brought, bought from a tax lien. Um, I've bought houses from tax lien list. Yes. Is wholesaling pre probates and probates the same process? Yes. It's just the type of marketing you do. Can't find convalescence in Lexington. Call them and ask. How do you pull? Watch the replay on this one. So the next one here from probates, we just showed you how to do probates. It's gonna be water shutoffs. So let's water shutoffs, not the easiest ones to do. So guys, comment below really quick. I'll show you. Uh, give me a county you guys want me to do water shutoffs and it's gotta be one I didn't pull uh, previously today in this video and I'll guys help you guys out change some lives today, guys. Come on. That's what it's all about. Let's see what I can do here. And, uh, let me know where you want me to pull the water shutoff list. I'll show you. And you can do it from pro, uh, prop stream, but I'm going to do it for free because the title of the video is free. So let's see. First comment was Lakeland, Florida. That's Polk. Sorry, I did Polk. So we'll do Franklin County, Ohio. So I'm going to search here uh, the Franklin County, Ohio Utility Department. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, share my screen. Hold on, are you telling me to be awake or the Wake County? Probably Wake County. But uh, let's go pull this up here. So this is the city of Franklin. So I knew Franklin County. I'm just going to city of Franklin. Uh, is this the right one in Ohio? Yeah, Franklin, Ohio. So it's not going to be a public list. So what, what you got to do is just call it. So this is the number to call. Man skipped over right New Orleans. Bro, it goes Franklin and then New Orleans. So this guy commented before you. I said first one, one. I'll do New Orleans for the next one though, bro. But um, literally all you got to do here is go to, I, it gets screwed up every time they say Miami in Ohio. It's like, come on. We know the real Miami is. Uh, let me get the phone number here. So what we're going to do here is call water superintendent right here for the water shutoff list. That's all we got to ask. Let me make this bigger for you guys. All right, we're going to go here and make it big. 937-746-5001. we're going to do here is we're going to call that list. We're going to call them and ask. Boom. For the water shutoffs. So next here we got... Let's see here. All right. So let's go here. Next one's going to be the lean list. So we'll do New Orleans is Parish, right? Parish, Franklin Parish. What is it? They have a weird name for their county. Um, Orleans Parish. Just call it county. I don't, oh my gosh. New Orleans got to be super extra with everything. I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Orleans Parish, clerk of the court. And they're probably going to be a little more difficult here, but we're going to try it here because. Let 
Okay, let's see what we got. Social aid and pleasure clubs. What? What? No. Okay. Ew. What? What is going on here? Where am I? Okay. Uh, okay. I don't even know what that is. All right. Where? Where? What is wrong with this county? Okay. So we're gonna go to. Uh, let's see here. Online records. Nineteenth century architects and builders. Oh my. Okay. See, I'm getting distracted here. Login links. So civil mortgage convenience. Advance. All right, so it's going to want me to log in on this one. So, so what I'd have to do here is if I'm going to get the lean list here, I'm probably going to have to go in person and pull it. So, can't do that one online. No big deal. Oh my gosh. I just, that whole county's uh, weird. Um, much love, everyone. Let's get it. Let's get that cheddar. Let's go. Uh, Hillsborough County. All right. So do Hillsborough County Clerk of the Court. I go here to Hillsborough County Clerk of the Courts. I know they don't have anything weird on their site. Looking at you, New Orleans. New Orleans is always difficult finding anything. The ghetto dog. You just got to go there in person. Uh, it'd be a lot easier. That that that's. It, they don't make it easy. Oh, is this it? Hold up. Yeah, okay, this is it. So, yeah, this is Hills Clerk. Okay, so court services. Where am I going? Records, official records. Okay, check this page. See vacant, abandoned, distressed properties in Hillsborough. Also, that's a really cool list to get to. That's the niche list you can get here. I'm trying to make this bigger for you guys. Um, so we'll just go to the clerk right here. Just search that, pop this up. You just said Tampa. I am doing uh, Hillsborough right now. So, all right. So now I'm in. Let's make this bigger. Uh, what I'm going to do here is go to hmm, document type. We're going to do liens. So tax deed, that'd be a cool one. Lanes. Uh, let's do just lanes for 2020 to now. Oh, okay. We'll just do the past 30 days. And boom, we got all these lanes right here. So. Let's just do a random one here. This is so Florida State Revenue. So uh, number two here. Can we the yeah? So this one, this lien here, forty two k. I don't know why, but this is the address, right? Hold on. Nader Charson Solutions Green Tech Property. 18%. Jesus. Um, Rista Lot 58. Yeah. Okay. So this person has a lien on it. That'd be a good one. 
Next year we can do this one. Blue edge address is in accordance with contact. Address is Apollo Beach. And this guy is a lean on it. So that'd be a good one. Here it is. We search that one right here. And these are the people who have the lean. So that's the one we'd go after. And you do liens for anything. I would do the credit card debt list liens, all the other liens. I do it all. So that was Hillsborough County. Uh, the next one to do here is liens are really easy to do. Those are the IRS liens, the Florida Department of Revenue ones, all those ones, they're all in there. And then uh, basically other mis miscellaneous courthouse leads. Uh, so other websites like this, let me try to pull it really quick for you guys here. Let me see if I can find it. So, ooh, where am I? Okay. Go back. Okay. You can do divorces, other uh, ones. So let's go through this really quick. You can do judgments, less pendences, Medicaid liens if you really want to get crazy. Uh, probates, power of attorneys. Satisfaction of mortgages, tax deeds, termination transfers. Those are really a lot of really cool ones. You can get divorce leads. There's so many of them you can be pulling right now, guys. And it's absolutely one of the best ones out there. So this is actually how to pull these free niche lists. I don't think anyone likes talking about it. I think it's a game changer for a lot of people. So I truly appreciate you guys watching the content I have on this channel. But that's it, guys. That's That just showed you guys. There's no excuse. There is literally no excuse for you guys out here not changing your life right now by pulling these types of lists. These types of liens, types of lists, absolutely a game changer for your real estate wholesaling business. And hopefully you got some value out of this one. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, Don wants to know really quick, with a lien on the house, do we, have to, do we have to speak to the owner? Yes, speak to the owner. That lien has to be paid off to that other person. So that's it. So... Uh, Elmix says, I'm definitely butchering your name. I'm really sorry, but I really appreciate it, man. Of course, no, no worries. So guys, got the money behind me. It's all about the money. These are free niche lists you'll be pulling right now. Go out there, start pulling them, start changing your life. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it.